I just figured out a chat GPT prompt that's been acting like Viagra for my website. Just look at how bonkers my share of voice has been increasing on diggitymarketing.com. In this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how it works live. But we have a big challenge on our hands. There's this keyword SEO campaign management that's been driving me absolutely insane. I've ranked number four for it for freaking ever and no matter how many lambs, virgins, or hours of sleep I sacrifice, it just won't budge. But even though I'm ranked number four for it, it still generates tons of leads for my agency, The Search Initiative. Let's see if this new chat GPT prompt can get us to number one on Google. But real quick, if you want to learn my best SEO wizardry, go to the link in the pinned comment to sign up for my free SEO training masterclass. It goes over everything I'm doing today in 2023 to get websites to the top of Google. Now let's get straight to the prompt. First things first, to get this to work, you're gonna to need to put ChatGPT into GPT-4 mode. The plugins you'll need are Ask Your PDF, which will allow ChatGPT to read PDF files, as well as WebPilot, which is currently the best way to get ChatGPT to access the internet. Here's the first line. Please start by reading this document, insert document URL here. And for the URL, I'm gonna plop in Google's quality rater guideline. I wanna train ChatGPT to become an expert on all 176 pages of the QRG, which is a document that is given to human evaluators to give feedback to Google on whether their results are good or not. In other words, it's how Google wants their algorithm to work. And we're training ChatGPT to be an expert at it. You could also do the same with the helpful content documentation, the Google spam policy, the review guidelines, or this disturbingly detailed guide on how to shave a cat. What you do with your time is not my concern. Next, ChatGPT, read my article here, and I'm gonna put in my URL that I wanna rank higher on Google. Then compare my article with these three that rank higher for the keyword, insert keyword, and then we have placeholders for the articles above me that seriously need to GTFO. Now the following prompt text is super important and it took me a few hours to get perfect. Based strictly on the guidelines or principles outlined in the first document, analyze these articles and compare them in terms of the depth and detail of the content, the demonstration of expertise and credibility, and how well they fulfill the user's intent. I want my content to be compared to the other articles only in the context of the quality rater guidelines. If you miss the word strictly, it'll give you generic SEO advice like make your website faster. Next in the prompt, provide a list of specific action points for improvements that could potentially enhance the ranking of my article strictly based on areas where you verified through the text that the other articles are performing better. There's our friend Strictly again. And then to top it all off, please exclude any generic SEO advice. I only want action points based on where these articles are outperforming mine, just to drive it home. So in a nutshell, we're training ChatGPT to become an SEO expert. We're having it analyze my content. And then it's gonna give me an SEO action list to overcome where I'm weaker against these other articles. I'll get to the results in a sec, but why did I just have it tell me how to write the perfect article? Why did I just ask to be better than the other articles above me? Like my friend Kyle Roof says, how do you survive a bear attack? Do you need to be faster than the bear? Good luck, these freaking things run 30 miles an hour. You just need to be faster than the other people you're with. Google works the same way. You don't need a perfect article, you just need the best article. To add, in case you wanna engineer a prompt like this yourself, I have some advice for you. When you get your output, don't assume that ChatGPT did what you wanted. You need to debug it. In the development of this prompt, ChatGPT gave me generic advice that didn't have anything to do with the articles being analyzed. So I asked it, how could I have adjusted the prompt such that you would not have made this mistake of giving me generic advice? Please give me a new prompt. And it did as you see here. Now let's fire off the prompt and see what happens. First you can see that it's using all the plugins to read the Quality Raiders PDF as well as the four articles it needs to analyze. A few minutes later and voila, we have our report here. Let's start to break it down. All right, based on the Google search quality evaluator guidelines and the content from the four articles, here's a comparison and specific action points for improvements. Sweet, this is exactly what we wanted. Now in this middle section, it gives us a summary of each article starting with mine, which it said was good, but also pointed out some flaws like not addressing specific problems or questions. Sounds like I need an FAQ, we'll check on that soon. It then talked about the WebFX article in position one, whose strengths included its detail, demonstration, of expertise and providing solutions to common problems. We'll see how to actionably address these later in the prompt output. Then it got into the search digital article, which was good, but had some flaws in the depth and detail department, which makes sense because it's only a thousand words long. And then we have the Brafton article, which it liked just as much as the WebFX article. Now down here's where all the juice is, the action points for improvement. Numero uno, include more specific examples or case studies to illustrate the points being made. All right, I can agree. Adding practical demonstrations to explain how things work is always helpful. But let's ask ChatGPT, regarding this point, which other articles do a good job at this and can you point out where in the content they did this so I can see? And it told me that the WebFX article did a good job in the keyword research section and pointed out specifically tools the user can 
news. And sure enough, they did. ChatGPT also says that the Brafton article has a strong SEO checklist section with examples. And once again, they do. So let's get to work on my article. In this section about how to plan an SEO strategy by figuring out your target market and setting goals, I added a section below from an actual agency case study of mine. In my section about keyword research, I added examples of each keyword type. And I added specific tools people should use for their keyword research. That should be enough, so let's move on to ChatGPT's next action point. Mention explicit credentials or qualifications to enhance credibility. But wait a second, I have an author box at the bottom of my article showing off my cred. Don't they know I'm Matt Diggity? I'm kind of a big deal. Really? Kidding, you can shoot me if my ego ever gets that annoying. But anyways, I asked ChatGPT where the other articles stood out better with regards to qualification. And it answered that it's not really about their author's credentials, it's that all these articles seem to be backed by actual digital marketing agencies, which quote, imply a level of expertise in the field. Well, that's easy. I just need to sprinkle in some content about my connection to my agency, The Search Initiative. And here we are in the intro where I wrote, in this article, I'll share my insights from running over a thousand successful SEO campaigns at my agency the search initiative, TSI. And I also added a little humble brag at the bottom with, we've served over a thousand clients and have survived and thrived through 15 plus Google algorithm updates. Easy breezy. By the way, I'd like to give a shout out to Pitchbox, the sponsor of this video. Pitchbox is an end-to-end -end link building platform for SEO agencies, brands, and affiliate publishers. It's my outreach tool of choice and I use it across all my businesses. With Pitchbox, my team is able to streamline prospecting and outreach, achieve better email deliverability, and manage the whole link building process in one place. It is hands down the best outreach tool out there and a game changer for link builders. If I had to choose between Pitchbox and any other outreach tool, I'm going Pitchbox all day. If you want to make your link building process more efficient and effective, give it a try. To sign up with Pitchbox, use the link in the description and get 50% off your first month. Now back to the video. Moving on, what else did ChatGPT recommend I do? The next items three to five, I think I can knock out in one shot. Make the article more user focused by addressing specific problems or questions that a reader might have. Include a step-by-step -step guide and provide solutions to common problems. I need a bit of help with number three. ChatGPT, regarding action point three, what specific problems and questions did I not answer that the other articles did. Here it says that the WebFX article has a step-by-step -step guide that answers the question, how do I start an SEO campaign? But wait a second, I have a step-by-step -step guide too. That's step one right here. However, there's one thing on my page that might be hurting me. I titled my step-by-step -step process, how to manage your SEO campaign in seven simple steps. Keyword here is manage. If I just change this word to start, that changes the whole context of the article. In a world of semantic SEO, changing a single word is often all that's needed to get results. Check ChatGPT also said I could have framed each of these steps in the context of a problem that each of them solved. Sure, step two is to choose your keywords, but I didn't mention what problem keyword research solves. So I added this line which tells the reader why they need keyword research in the first place. I also added these two lines to explain why you would want to build backlinks and what problem that solves. So at this point, I'm done editing my article and I'm ready to see the results of this effort. I could also have done the same exercise from the point of view of the helpful content documentation or the spam policy. But let's isolate things out and just see what a fully trained ChatGPT quality rater can do for your content. Okay, we're back. It's been 14 days and it's time to see if my article ranks higher for the keyword SEO campaign management. Remember, we started at position number four. Let's see how we're doing now. And here we are. We made it from position number four to position number two. I'm pretty happy with this, but I think I can get to number one. I'll get to how soon. That said, the article got 158 visitors in the last seven days, which means it's up 44% from the baseline and generating more leads for my agency. But you know how it is. Second place is the first loser. Let's see what we can do about getting to position number one. As you know, there's over 200 SEO ranking factors. And while many supposed vaults of SEO knowledge claim that content is king, it's definitely not everything. If I toss the number one article from WebFX into Ahrefs with my article, you can see that while I have more direct links to my content with 44 do follows versus their one, they're destroying me in domain rating, the overall domain link authority of their website. That's like freaking Thanos versus the useless guy who just shoots arrows. But closing this gap is already a work in progress. Now let me point out the domain rating DR is not a Google ranking factor, but it is a decent measure of how authoritative your link profile is. To build DR, you want links from sites with higher DR. For that, I'm using Haro, and I'm using ChatGPT to pound out replies, and I'm getting way better results than can possibly be imagined doing it manually. I'm also using Ferry and the folks at searchintelligence.co.uk who are the best in the business at digital PR. Just look at this sexy stack of DR90s I'm amassing. Next, we need to think about topical authority. The more you write on the given topic and completely cover all the subtopics in a niche, Google will nominate you as a topical authority in that category, and you'll 
you'll be awarded a glorious traffic boner. Remember, I'm competing with WebFX on the term SEO campaign management. Do they have more topical authority than me on SEO? Let's see. If I run a site colon in title SEO command on our two sites, they really are kicking my ass. 836 SEO articles versus my 138. Admittedly, I haven't made the same investment into SEO content that they have. But with AI at my side, that gap can be closed in a couple months where before it would have taken years. Click the video at the top here to see my case study on how I built a profitable website completely off the back of AI. Or at the very least, subscribe for more videos just like this one.